Something as small as a paintbrush can make a huge difference in someone's life. I'm Candace Blake in Thomasville, where one woman's life work has been to do just that, but for those with different abilities. I focused in on the disabilities group because nobody was addressing their needs. A passion for art soon turned into concern when mother, Dixie Hedrington, couldn't find anywhere to share it with her deaf son. Gee, I'd like my son to come and learn this. And, well, we would like to have him, but... We don't have accommodations for that. So Hedrington dug into her own pockets and created her own space. Friends and Stars Incorporated. The program is geared towards children with different abilities, though not limited to. Over the last 15 years, Hedrington says that she has helped thousands of kids with her art program. I like what I was making and creating, and I enjoyed it. That's nine-year-old Michael Graham. He says when he grows up, he wants to play in the NBA and maybe even help design a new logo. Hedrington's former student also has ADHD. It helps me concentrate because while I'm doing art, I have to concentrate. Okay, what is something you learned how to do that you didn't know how to do before? Mm, I learned how to do mosaics. Skills like mosaic art, painting, and sculpting are just a few of what Hedrington offers, taking her teachings over to places like Thomasville City School System and the Boys and Girls Club. When I asked Hedrington why she does it, her answer was simple. To see that kid's face when they hold it up and I take a picture of it and they're like, I did that. After years of sharing her art with the community, Hedrington was selected by Brian Kemp's Call for Art. She will showcase her art on August 1st and it will be hung in the Georgia State Capitol. In Thomasville, I'm Candace Blake, ABC 27.